Magandang araw! Ako po si Sir Ariel, ang Alts Lover ng EdTech Unit. Narito po ako para sa isang napakagandang balida at upang magpaalala na ang kinabukasan ay mas gaganda at uulad kung ang lahat ay patuloy na mag-aaral. Sa edukasyon sa ating bansa, tiyak na walang maiiwanan sa pag-abot ng mga pangarap. Kaya naman ang Department of Education ICTS Educational Technology Unit at Alternative Learning System Task Force ay nagtutulungan sa pagkakaroon ng ALS Tech Empowerment Program upang maihatid ang excellent quality education sa ating mga ALS learner and teachers. To easily deliver the lessons from the modules and other references, We will provide tablet PC as part of the DepEd computerization program to all ALS teachers and orientation on the use of these packages. To deepen the pedagogical use of information and communications and technology in delivering instructions, there are training workshops on the use and curation of Open Educational Resources or OER, Google and Microsoft Productivity Tools, creation of video lessons using PowerPoint presentations and KineMaster, and on ebook or e-magazine development. To create an avenue for remedial lessons that is open to all learners, teachers, and parents, we will have the e2li free online tutorial and mobile e2li where we will visit remote schools to feature the best practices of our ALS teachers and learners. Sa mga out-of-school youth and adult, laging tatandaan na may pag-asa upang makapagpatuloy sa pag-aaral. May ALS para sa inyo. Ang edukasyon ay para sa lahat. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, para sa guro. Sulong Edukalidad! Si ALS Learner JC is a proof that life offers second chances. Nagkakamali pero naitatama at patuloy tayo to dream, set our goals, work hard for it, stick to it until we reach the success and the happiness that we hope for. Ako po muli si Sir A, ang inyong ALS Coach, dito lang sa Alternative Learning System sa DepEd TV. Mabuhay! Isang mapagpalang araw sa ating lahat. Ako ang inyong lingkod, Tutor Match. Welcome sa ating e life ang ating libreng online tutorial na hatid ng ating kagawaran ng edukasyon, ICTS EdTech. Ang programang ito ay inaasahang makatutulong at maging karagdagang kaalaman sa mga mag-aaral mula kinder hanggang senior high school. ALS, Alive, at SPED Learners. Bukod sa pagsagot ng mga modules, ang e ay may mga special programs din na siguradong aabangan ninyo araw-araw. Katuwang ang ating mga minamahal na mga magulang at guro ay maitutulay natin ang pagkatuto. Kaya, ihanda na ang inyong module, lapis, papel o kwaderno. Ihanda rin ang isip, mata at tenga sa isa na namang makabuluhang aralin. Tayo nang matuto kasama ang inyong volunteer online tutor sa oras na ito. Okay, hello, good afternoon. Okay, thank you, sir. 
Good afternoon, learners. In behalf of Tutor Yanni, Tutor Cess, and Tutor MJ, I am Tutor Charlene. Okay, share po natin yung ating link. Okay, share, share po muna tayo para sa ating mga learners. Okay. Hey, good evening po sa lahat ng viewers. Okay, sharing is caring. Share po natin yung ating link. Nood po tayo. Okay, sa mga learners kanina, ituloy po natin ang panonood ngayon. Okay, this is a continuation lang po ng kaninang lecture. Okay, proper use of electricity. Okay, to formally start, okay, we have some overview. Okay. Lesson 1, the use and consumption of electricity. Lesson 2, tips on reducing electric consumption. And lesson 3, playing it safe with electricity. Okay, meron po siyang, ka, kaano lang po siya nung kanina, continuation ng LS3 Elementary. So, para mas maintindihan, okay, dito po tayo, nood po tayo ulit. Okay, objectives for today's le lecture after studying this module, you should be able to define electricity and describe its uses, measure and compute electric power consumption, describe ways of conserving electric consumption in the home and Practice safety measures in handling electricity and using electric appliances. So, mukhang kahawi, ano lang nung kanina, continuation lang. So, next. Let's see what you already know. Ano po bang alam nyo na with regards to this? What are electrical conductors and insulators? Okay, electric. Conductors are materials that allow electricity to flow through them. Okay, conductors yung pwedeng dadaanan siya ng kuryente. So, ang insulators naman are materials that do not allow electricity to flow through them. So, identify natin ano yung mga conductor at insulators later. Next, give an example of each water and Metal objects of rubber, plastic, dry wood, dry cloth, and glass. So, water and metal objects. Ang conductors po yun. Objects made of rubber, plastic, dry wood, dry cloth, and glass are the examples of insulators. Okay, dito po tayo. What factors affect electric consumption when using electric appliances? Ano kaya sa tingin nyo? Ano yung mga factors? Okay. Share, share po natin. Yung ating link. Ito talaga kapag live yung on the spot. Okay, what factors affect electric consumption when using appliances? Okay, A, the length of time that appliances was used. B, the number of times the appliances was used and the wattage or power rating of the appliances. Okay, katulad po yung kanina, titignan po natin yung mga wattage or power rating po sa appliances na sa sticker po yon na sa likod po ng mga appliances na gamit natin so nakadepende po yon kung 
ilangan appliances ang ginamit mo sabay-sabay. Okay, yun po yung maka kung paano na sa ating electric consumption. Okay. A bedroom has an incandescent bulb, a television, and an electric fan. So, these three appliances are turned on for nine hours. So, tatlo, bulb, television, electric fan. Then, nine hours. The incandescent bulb has a rating of 100 watts. The television has a rating of 70 watts and the electric fan has a rating of 120 watts. What is the total power consumption of the appliances in kilowatt hour? Okay, buti na lang pala. Ito yung lecture at medyo may overview tayo kanina. Okay, first, anong unang gagawin natin? Okay, total power rating. So, i-add natin yung tatlong appliances. Yung rating nila. 100 watts for the light incandescent bulb, 70 for the television, and 120 watts for our electric fan. So, we have 290 watts. Okay, so ilang oras natin ginamit? Okay, Okay, we need to convert into kilowatt hour. May sagot na po ba tayo dyan? Okay, since warm up pa lang po tayo, ito po yung so, just simply convert into kilowatt hour. One kilowatt hour is equivalent to 1,000 watt hours. So, 2,610 2, times one kilowatt hour over 1,000 watts. So, we have 2.61 kilowatt hour. Okay, kapag nag-divide po tayo ng 1,000, okay, just simply move the decimal point three places to the left. So we got 2.61 kilowatt hour. Next, choose the best answer to the items below. Write the letter of your answer in the space provided before each number. Okay, number one. What is the first thing you should do when a plug radio falls on a tub full of water? Letter A, get the radio out of the water. Drain the water from the tub. Unplug the radio from the electric outlet while your whole body is still wet. Letter D, turn off the electric power from the fuse box or circuit breaker. Okay, ano kaya sa palagay nyo? Anong letter ang sagot po dyan? Okay. Comment down your answer. Ano po sa palagay nyo ang tamang sagot? Okay, and the correct answer is, sa palagay nyo, ano kaya? So, 
It's letter D. Turn off the electric power from the fuse box or circuit breaker. Next. Choose the best answer to the items below. Write the letter of your answer in the space provided before its number. What should you do if your television starts malfunctioning? A. Try to shake and tap the appliance to see if it worked again. Letter B. Try to open the back panel of the television to see what is wrong with the wiring. 3. Bring the television to the repair shop. Or letter D. Buy another television. So, ano ang the best na sagot dito if it's malfunctioning na? Anong gagawin nyo sa TV nyo? May ganyan ba kayong TV sa bahay? Okay, and the correct answer is, okay, bring the television to the repair shop. Letter C. Next, number three, what should you do if you see a, a live wire, electrical wire near the car? Save the man by trying to get the live wire away from the car. Tell the man to get out of his car and away from the live wire. Tell the man to stay in the car and call the electric company to ask for help. Save the man by helping him get out of the car. So what do you think is the correct answer? Okay, the best answer is save the man by helping him get out of the car. Yung mga easiest way na maitutulong natin, yung first aid na pwede natin gawin. Okay, answer question below. Give at least three examples of common practices that involve the wastage of electricity. Okay, so ano mga example? Three examples common practice that involve the wastage of electricity. Ano po kaya sa palagay nyo? Okay, ano po mga sagot natin dyan? Okay, ano kaya mga naisip niyong example? Okay, una dyan, yung iiwanan lang natin naka-open yung appliances natin kahit hindi ginagamit. Okay, para... Okay, ano pa po? Okay, kapag maliwanag naman, pwede natin open yung ating mapinto at i-off yung ilaw para tayo ay makatipid. Okay, yung mga ginagawa natin, kahit hindi natin ginagamit, hala, nakaunang lahat, huwag sabay-sabay gamitin ang appliances. Okay, just like ngayon, ano ng TV, pero nagsiselfone naman. So, dapat okay off kapag hindi natin ginagamit yung mga appliances. Okay, next question. Based on your answers, how can you avoid wasting electricity? Okay, paano ba natin? Okay, aminin na natin na sa ating mga sarili na minsan na hindi natin nagamit ng maayos yung ating electricity, sabay-sabay natin ginagamit yung ating mga appliances. Okay, so kapag hindi ka naman nanonood ng TV at nagsiselfone ka lang naman, so i-off mo na yung TV. Okay, kapag siguro pag nag-charge ka ng iyong mga phone, 
dapat hindi mo gagamitin. Pero aminin natin, ginagamit natin kahit naka-charge. Pero para to save, okay, hindi natin ma-waste yung kuryente at mabilis mag-full charge yung ating mga gadgets, okay, dapat naka-off siya para mas mabilis at makatipit ng kuryente. Hindi natin ginagamit. Okay. Ito po tayo. The use and consumption of electricity. First, what is electricity? What is it used for? So, ito yung mga question na dapat nating matutunan dito. Where does the electricity we use in our homes came from? And how do we know how much electricity we consume? Ito yung mga sasagutin sa lecture na to. So, warm up pa lang yung kanina. So, this is it. Okay, let's learn. How do appliances function with the use of electricity? Okay, paano daw siya nagpa-function? Mostly ngayon, yung mga gamit natin, okay, it's more on the use of electricity. Okay, electricity is a form of energy that has many uses. Okay, a device called an electric generator can produce electricity. Looks like this. Okay, nakakita na ba kayo ng ganito? Okay, kung nakakita na kayo yan, that is an electric generator. Nakakaproduce din po yan ng electricity. Next, inside an electric generator, okay, kung nakita niyo yung ganito sa loob po niyan, Okay, you will see a coil of wire spinning against a pair of magnet. Okay, yan po yung nasa loob ng electric generator. Okay, meron siyang dalawang magnet, may north pole and south pole. Okay, then may rotating coil po sa gitna. So, the rotation produces electric electrical energy through the coil. So, alam nyo na kung how it works yung electric generator. Okay, next. Okay. Electricity is produced by the movement of electrons. Okay, mga nakikita niyo po dyan. Electrons are ti very tiny particles found inside an atom. Okay, yan po yon. Example ng atom. Okay, nandun po yung electrons. Okay, sa gitna po it's the nucleus and this is the electron. Atoms make up of all things. They are very, very small. They cannot be seen by our naked eye. So, when electrons jump from one atom to another, electricity is produced. So, this is what happens in the coil of wire inside the generator. Okay, yan po yun. Okay, electrons moving from one atom to another. So, nucleus yung nasa gitna nila. Then, it can generate electricity inside the generator. Okay. Next, electrical energy can be converted in... Okay, electrical energy, pasensya na kapag live, ganito po talaga nangyayari. May mga interruption. Electrical energy can be converted into mechanical energy. Okay, si mechanical energy is energy that causes things to move. Electricity is converted to mechanical energy that can turn the fan blades of an electric fan. So, the fan blades then move and rotate. Kaya, nahanginan tayo. Okay, that is an example of 
mechanical energy. Okay, next. Okay, yan po yung, meron ba kayo nitong mga nandito sa, okay, yung fan nyo. Yung blade, yung blender. Okay, then next we have the electrical energy converted into heat energy. Ano naman si heat energy? Energy that gives off heat. Electricity is converted to heat that can make the electric iron hot. So kung dito, pinagagalaw, dito naman umiinit yung electric iron. So yan yun. So from ele electrical energy, then nagiging heat energy. Okay, next, move on tayo. Okay, yun. Yung rice cooker, converted din yun sa heat energy. Yung water heater natin, then yung coffee maker. Electrical energy can be converted into light energy. Siguro alam niyo na example ito. Energy that gives off light. Electricity is converted to light that make fluorescent lamps glow. So examples of appliances that converted electrical energy into light energy are the television and the incandescent bulb. Okay. Yung electrical energy din naman sa ating light bulb kaya meron tayong ilaw. At saka kaya may tao yung ating television. Next, we have the sound energy. Electrical energy into sound energy. Energy that imitates sound. Electricity is converted to sound that make radios and stereos produce music from their speakers. Okay, so hope you got it. Kung saan nagagamit yung ating electrical energy. Okay, na-convert siya sa mechanical, heat, light, sound. Next. Okay, yan po yun. Okay, ito yung light sa light bulb, then ito yung sa radio natin, yung sound, energy. Kaya meron tayong mga naririnig na music sa ating mga speaker radios. Okay. Ano po ang nakikita nyo dyan? Okay, meron tayong bote, my knife, my ring, my wood, my frying pan, t-shirt. Okay, para saan po kaya ang mga yan? Ano sa palagay nyo? Okay, we have the so-called conductors and insulators. Okay, we already defined conductors earlier. Okay, yun po yung mag-generate ng electricity. Insulator, yun po yung hindi mag-generate ng electricity. Next. Okay. Conductors, materials that allow electricity to pass through them. Conductors are used to transmit electricity from one place to another. All metals are good conductors of electricity. Okay, so lahat naman metal is conductor of electricity. So then, insulators, materials that do not need allow electricity to pass through them. Generally, materials that are non-metallic are insulators. So, metals are conductors, non-metals or non-metallic are insulators. So, examples of this, plastics, clothes, and ceramics. Yun po yung mga nasa picture po kanina. Nakahiwalay po yung conductor at saka insulator. So, yung metal, conductors of electricity, yung non-metal or which is the plastics and clothes are insulators or non-conductor of electricity. Okay, yan po yun. Okay, may situation po dito tayong babasahin. Can, how do we know how much electric energy each appliances consumes? 
professor o yung bata na tanong sa professor, paano daw malalaman yung en- electric energy each appliances consume? Okay, then the professor said, the electric power consumption by appliances is measured in watts. Okay, the power rating or wattage of its appliances is usually indicated at the back panel of the appliances. Okay, kung nakita yung mga appliances natin, may sticker po sa likod. Okay, yung sa back panel, yung may silver yung kulay, yung iba yellow, so dapat babasahin natin yan. If it is not indicated on the appliances, then look for the brochure or manual for the appliances where the power rating or wattage is indicated. Okay, here I'll show you a list of different appliances and the respective power rating. So, pag bumibili po tayo ng mga appliances, titingnan po natin yung mga nasa back panel na nakalagay na yung mga wattage nila. So, ito po yung mga sample wattage. Okay? Kung nakikita nyo po dyan, ano ba mga appliances nyo na nandyan? At nandyan po yung corresponding wattage ng bawat appliances. So, kung tingnan nyo po kung anong mga appliances meron kayo dyan. Okay, para alam nyo din yung mga wattage. Between the desk fan and the flat iron, which has a low power rating? Okay, say the professor. So then, the Pedro iron has power rating of 600 watts. While the desk fan has a power rating of 120 watts. Therefore, the desk fan has a lower power rating. So, that's correct. So, titingnan pala natin yung wattage ng mga appliances na ginagamit natin. Kung alin doon yung mas malakas mag-consume ng kuryente. Para alam din natin kung paano ang tamang paggamit ng ating mga appliances. Next, let's move on. Okay, let's review. Below is the list of appliances. Using the list on pages 9 to 10, Determine the wattage or the power rating of each of the following appliances. Write your answers in the... Comment down your answers. Okay. So, television. Okay, ano yung mga wattage dyan? Okay, yung mga nandoon kanina. po sa palagay nyo ang mga wattage dyan. Okay, yun po yung mga nakita nyo kanina. Kung naalala nyo, balikan po natin sa gled. Okay, yung mga nandyan. So, ilan yung wattage na ating television? Ano po kaya? Okay. Naalala niyo pa yung kanina? So, ang number one po natin ay... Sixty-five. Okay, how about hair dryer? Ilan po kaya? Okay, ano po sa palagay nyo? Okay, share, share po natin yung link, mga link. Okay, para marami pong matuto. Okay. Hello again. Okay, andito ulit. Laging presento si Ninya. 
Okay, based po yung sa listahan kanina, ano po kayang wattage ni hair dryer? Okay, si hair dryer ay 320. Okay, how about refrigerator na 11 cubic feet? Okay, share, share po natin. Continuation lang po mukha. Parang continuation lang yung lecture ng LS3 Elementary at saka yung high school ngayon. So, mas makakarelate po tayo. Okay, refrigerator na 11 cubic feet. Okay, the wattage is 170. Okay, next, flat iron, standard flat iron. Yes, nabanggit na po yun kanya. Meron siyang nasa taas po siya nung wattage sa listan. That is 600 watts. And the desk fan, which is yung nabanggit din sa story kanina i, ni, ng professor at ni Pedro, that is 120 watts. Okay, next po tayo. Let's move on. Okay, the power rating of an electric appliances is measured in watts or kilowatt. So, it is 1,000 watts is equivalent to 1 kilowatt. Okay, yun yung sa nakalagay sa ating mga power rating sa mga appliances. Kung napansin nyo, yung sa likod may mga watts pong nakalagay. So, may conversion po dyan. 1,000 watts is equivalent to 1 kilowatt. Electric power consumption is measured by the power rating of the appliance, appliances and the amount of time the appliances was used. It is usually measured in watt hour or kilowatt hour. Okay, so my overview na tayo kanina. So mas madali na to ngayon. Okay, example number one. Okay, kung nakita nyo po yan, nasa likod po banda yung, and dito po nakalagay sa ating a 14 inches color TV has a power rating of 80 watts. So, nasa likod po, makikita nyo po nasa picture. What would be its power consumption if the TV was used for 5 hours? So, we have the power rating. So, madali na po to. So, 80 watts. Then, number of hours is 5 hours. So, just simply multiply just like what we have earlier. 80 times 5. So, we have 400 watt hours. Okay, then next is example number two. A water heater has a power rating of 3,000 watts. Okay, go. What would be its power consumption if the water heater was used for 3 hours? So the solution is power rating is the watts or kilowatts. So kinonvert na agad si watts or kilowatt. Pwede nyo namang i-convert into kilowatt agad or pwede 300 watts po muna. So depende po kung anong mas madali sa nyo. So just simply multiply 3,000 or 3 kilowatt into 3 hours. So we have 9 thousand watt hours or that is nine kilowatt hour so next okay often we wish to express electric consumption into kilowatt hours since it is the standard form okay to do this we use the conversion factor one thousand watts is to one kilowatt so we need to convert Okay, first, the 9,000 watt hours. Okay, we have the conversion unit. 1 kilowatt, okay, is divided by 1,000 watts. So, cancel natin yung watts. Ang matitirang unit of measurement is kilowatt hour. So, 9,000 times 1, then divided by 1,000. So, we have 9 kilowatt hour. So, kapag ang div divisor nyo is 1,000 o mga may 0, just simply count yung zero, then i-move lang. So, expected na po yung decimal point pa dito po sa dulo ng zero. So, move lang natin to the left ng three decimal point. Kaya siya nagiging nine kilowatt hour. Okay.
Okay, let's move on to the next. Example number three. Okay, medyo mahaba-haba to. Siguro naman may alam na kayo kung paano na, anong magiging sagot nito. So, if you know already how to compute, okay, sa mga nakikinig kanina, pwede nyo na i-comment down yung mga sagot nyo. So, so comment, comment lang tayo. Okay, hello. Good evening. Okay, see you again. Okay, kayo din yung kanina. Okay, na-lecture na natin to kanina. Continuation lang to sa hapon. So, alam nyo na kung paano to i-compute. Pwede nyo nang i-comment yung inyong mga sagot. Okay, four incandescent bulbs. Each with a power rating of 100 watts. Were used for duration of 12 hours. What is the total power consumption of the four incandescent bulb in kilowatt hours? Okay, so kung paano nyo mas mapadaling pag-solve, then comment down your answer. Okay, tingnan nga natin kung naalala nyo pa yung pinagagawa natin kanina. Ano kaya ang sagot dito? Ano kaya sa palagay nyo? Okay. Hello. Ito si Ninya ulit, si Althea, si Andrea. So, may sagot na si Ninya na 4,800 kilowatt hour or 4.8 kilowatt. Okay, yung iba kaya. Thank you, Nina. Okay, how about the others? Ano sa palagay nyo? So, tingnan nga natin kung paano na makuha ang sagot. So, unang gagawin is... Okay, ayan yun, 4 incandescent bulb na TIG 100 watts. So, power rating, so 100 times 4, kaya nagiging 400 watts siya, then ginamit siya ng 12 hours, so you have 4,800. Then, we need to convert that one sa kilowatt hours, so divide lang sa... na nag-work yung PowerPoint. Time to jump. Okay, so move lang natin yung decimal point sa conversion. So, magiging 4.8. Okay, good job. Okay, Nina. Okay, hello. Good, good evening. Okay, you can comment down kung anong school niyo po para okay, ma-shout out naman natin kung saan school po kayo. Okay, next we have Okay, ganito talaga kapag live. Okay. So, sa mga nakikita niyo po kanina, same lang po yung gagawin yung, iba-iba lang po yung pag-solve kung kayo naka-watt hour na po agad siya. Dito naman, naka-watts, then another conversion. Pero same lang po yung concept nyo. Ang makukuhalan din po natin is again, we're in kilowatt hour. Okay. So, you have the power today to change tomorrow. Conserve to preserve. Okay, ito po yung saying nila para po sa lecture for today. So, ipagpaumanin po natin at medyo may mga, okay, ano lang yung mga for today. So, next we have, okay, you have the power to change tomorrow. Okay. So, ang ganda naman ng motto, conserve to preserve. So, kung nung nakaraan, medyo maaksaya tayo sa paggamit ng kuryente, siguro naman na ngayon, matuto na tayong 
mag solve okay mag tipid okay yung mga nakagawian nating gagawin siguro naman sa ngayon alam na natin kung paano magtipid kung ma- ilan yung kuryente na ma-consume every day so ganito po yung pag bumibili po tayo ng mga appliances titingnan na po natin yung mga nasa likod po na wattage okay para makikita natin kung sino yung mas malakas mag-consume ng kuryente And sa paggamit po natin, okay, matuto na tayong magtipid. So, next, yes, okay, ito na po. So, thank you po sa mga lahat ng nanood. Okay, so, no. Nanood po tayo ulit. Next week po, same time. Okay, share, share po tayo. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, thank you. As learner JC is a proof that life offers second chances. Nagkakamali pero na itatama at patuloy tayo to dream, set our goals, work hard for it, stick to it until we reach the success and the happiness that we hope for. Ako po muli si Sir A, ang inyong ALS coach dito lang sa Alternative Learning System sa DepEd TV.